Here is an old Pentium 4. Uh, it has a clock frequency of 2 GHz and it does not have hyper threading. I have connected an AirSpy 1 to it and I will now run it with SDR Sharp. So I click on start here. And as you can hear, doesn't work very well. So, to make this reasonable, I have to switch off go for If I stop the display, then I can receive Hon som blir portad från Oskar Schlanser, det var high. du. Jag ser det i dina fräcka ögon, du har den där kivblicken. Är det sant att det bara var, var, var ett lipsyl? Det var två fack, fack, dubbel, ha, jag so, visste det. Only the waterfall. Nu tar jag bjuder. Jag har väntat länge på din här dag, förstår du. Jag heter Ilse, om du inte visste det. det. Glömst gärna vill du nämna. And only Hon som säger the, the spectrum. It doesn't matter. I think it's the cost of computing the Fourier transfer. Transform. A small transform doesn't help. And a big transform is no better. I had to set the decimation to 16, so the bandwidth is fairly small. If I remove that again, it is written in her mouthpieces, the snedda leendet och guldtanden som gnäller, har vi golfjäden som tinglar från hennes ena öra, smärgda ögonen. And you can see. This is not okay. So we need to go down all the way to 156 kilohertz and switch off the displays. Then we can use the airspay on this very old computer under Windows XP. Det är som att du varit helt uppe i det blåa, du vet. Jag har hoppat ner på marken. Here is Linrad running with the same airspy. Uh, Linrad is different. It processes the two and a half megahertz bandwidth, but the FM detector in Linrad is inefficient. So I have to make the baseband bandwidth fairly small. And for that reason, the Filter is too narrow, and you can hear on the quality of the sound that the detector operates in a too small bandwidth. It's also obvious on the S meter that when the voice is on, the P to average power changes. And you can see the RMS power goes down because part of the signal is outside the passband. Becomes more obvious if I magnify a bit. So, uh, the FM detector uses 15% of the CPU. If I double the bandwidth, it would go up to 30%. And then it comes too close to 100% because we are already at 97 or 
95 or something in total CPU usage. Jag behöver dåligt humör. Det behöver du få mig att upp mig. Men, och du behöver mig. Jag borde. This is a better Pentium 4. It runs at 2.6 GHz and it has hyperthreading. So I will start uh, SDR Sharp here. And you can see it runs perfectly well. A rather high load but there is no decimation, it runs at the full 2.5 MHz bandwidth and it draws the spectrum and waterfall. So, and it's of course Windows XP also on this own computer. Here is Linrad on the same better Pentium 4. And it runs uh, very well, but setup is critical. For example, if I enable stereo, I click here, then you can hear the sound is no longer good. And that is obvious if you look at the sampling rate on the output which is printed here it should be 44 kilohertz but the computer is no longer fast enough uh, we cannot see it on the uh, uh, what is it called i have forgotten well on this monitor it indicates 83 percent but uh, these two CPUs aren't really two CPUs and they cannot be used to 100% both of them because it's actually the same CPU where one thread is the hyperthreading usage of unused resources. So uh, if I try for example to move this window, I click the mouse here and you can see that it's not following immediately. Uh, there is a long, long delay. So uh, I had to remove stereo again. And then it's okay. And the parameters... I, well, uh, first I will switch off the selected signal, that means uh, disable the FM detector. And that has a dramatic effect on the CPU load, as you can see. It goes down to 30%. And if I go and listen on uh, HF bands uh, on SSB or something, the uh, narrowband processing takes nearly no resources. So FM is a particularly heavy task in Linrad. I click on it again. And you see it doubles or even more the total load. And I will just show the parameters that I have used. X and P. A fairly large bandwidth, a low order on the windowing, the fastest FFT version, number four, and I don't split it on several threads, which is zero here, and the smallest storage time. Bandwidth reduction is three. That means two and a half megahertz divided by eight. So it's a fairly high rate for the FM detector. That's where all, where very much of the work is being done. And there is no need for a good window, it's just a sign window here. So the purpose of this is to show that although it's not designed for Windows XP, if you read on the home page of AirSpy, I think they say it's not recommended. Uh, 
and it's certainly not recommended on a Pentium 4. Uh, still, uh, this is possible, both with SDR Sharp and with Lindrod, and presumably with other SDR software as well.